Hi. Uh, I'm now officially too old uh, for the uh, MTV VMA uh, demographic, so all I can say is that uh, last night uh, and uh, earlier this afternoon I saw just a, a couple of segments, including uh, Jimmy Fallon playing Ed McMahon uh, to Justin Timberlake's uh, Johnny Carson, kind of almost to the point of uh, like uh, Jimmy just major league bonding uh, uh, over uh, Justin's uh, uh, myriad accomplishments. And uh, earlier, I did finally see the Miley Cyrus uh, magic uh, foam finger and uh, burlesque uh, video, and that was uh, quite interesting. And in this culture, everything happens for the first time, so... Uh, I'm presuming nobody's going to try to compare uh, Miley like stripping off and uh, stuff like that uh, to back in 2000 when uh, Brittany uh, stripped off to the uh, flesh colored uh, bikini and, and uh, looked like corduroys back then. And Jamie Foxx said something about uh, Brittany going from the Mickey Mouse Club to the strip club. And I don't know, where, where does uh, Miley Cyrus fall in the Pantheon? Uh, it's like, to me, uh, it's not like she's Madonna or Lady Gaga that uh, have a few ideas to bring to the table. Uh, it's more like uh, Miley's in the uh, Katy Perry, uh, Gwen Stefani League of uh, uh, mass acceptance, uh, pretend to be subversive, uh, but uh, no subversion intended, just like this line uh, I remember from a old early 90s movie, said by that great actress who's been disappeared uh, from our consciousness a while, Jennifer Rubin. And this, I guess, could describe Miley and, and Katie and uh, Gwen Stefani. I am a very, very rich girl. I am a very, very rich girl. And so on that note, let me just say MTV Awards envelope may seemingly be pushed uh, for each generation, but uh, nothing is ever seen for the first time. And uh, thanks so much for listening, and uh, talk to you another time. <laughs>